Good day friends, welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Ultra Modded, whatever. <laughs> okay then, um Previously we started the Downguard DLC. Oh these are the boots that I left some a long time ago. Anyway, previously we started the uh, Downguard DLC and we're going to continue with it. Uh, I'm in Riverwood right now. Why is it lagging? I don't know. Because I was going on a journey uh, to sell stuff, basically. So I went to a few places. Anyway, we have a quest. A new order. I have rejected Harkon's offer to be turned into a vampire. Now I need to return to Isran and tell him what I've learned. Speak with Isran. Let's do that for Dungard. Oh, and if you're a new viewer on this channel, do consider liking the video and subscribing. I would appreciate it a lot. I never say that at the beginning of the episodes, but I thought maybe I should start doing that like 90% of other YouTubers do, I guess. You know? Anyway, we're here. It loaded quite fast, actually, which is uh, strange to me. One thing I dislike about fast traveling to this place is that it usually loads you literally at the beginning of the valley or whatever and not near the actual fort which is like you know why would they do that yeah anyway it doesn't matter i can run over there okay let's see this way but i do like the fort it looks awesome although castle volkihar is my favorite one of these two <laughs> buildings, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should have sided with the vampires from the beginning. Nah. I'm not going to regret my choice. After all, I'm sort of fighting for the go. Oh, hello. Wait a second. I'm not prepared. Um. Shoot! Oh my god. I don't know how to. No! Just give up! You can't win! Push out the head to. Oh my god, everybody's down. I swear to freaking god, the vampires are so strong. Uh, magic, I need this, and I need this as well. Because I need to heal my ass. What the hell? How the hell did he kill me with one freaking strike? Honestly. Wait, I don't have my helmet on. I should put it on, cause at least I'll get more defense points. Whatever. Uh, I leveled up uh, off camera. Probably should tell that while it's loading and whatever. I leveled up. I increased my enchanting smithing as well. Bought a skill in the restoration skill tree, cause I thought, why not? You know, since first of all, I need to get that uh, perk, which uh, basically uh, healing spells heal you 50% something like that I really need that cause you know and I increase my magic as well cause I've been using spells more often especially oh I'm in freaking river with again okay let me just fast shovel back there Okay, let's see. I should quick save because I know there will be a battle coming. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly. You still don't know that I'm the Dragonborn? Oh, let's see. 
let me just prepare a little. Oh no, why am I using a freaking dagger? I got a bounty. Did I freaking kill? Now I have to reload because I don't want the down guard to I don't want the down guard to attack me for no reason. Really, I just Fusro maybe I killed someone, I don't know. Whilst Fusro dying. Oh well anyway. Summon you. Prepare a little. Come on, everybody. Oh, I didn't notice you. Oh, shoot. They're attacking that one, they should take care of him. I'll take care of this one. A nicer vampire. Yes, that's my best shot, I'm weak, shut up. Okay, wait, one's left. See, I wanted to kind of run away, <laughs> I guess, back away from him. I shouldn't have tried to attack that time. Well, okay, I guess we're doing this again. Well, at least I know what to do. Kind of. Yeah, it's become becoming much more difficult. But actually, the better vampire NPCs mod, I recommend it if you want... <laughs> P more powerful um, vampires definitely downloaded because, as you can see, I've been having much more trouble with the vampire fights. Where the hell did you get a crossbow? Now I know I could favorite my potions. I'll kill you. Never should have come here. Well, well, Is that all? Do we actually do us right now? What the hell kind of bo- Ooh! Ooh! No! No! See? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> this is such a messy episode, I can't. Like I did it, we defeated them, but... At the price of me dying because I accidentally hit one of them. Oh lord. You know what I've realized? In Oblivion's Dark Brotherhood they give you a scroll to summon Rufio, which is literally the first person you kill in that uh, quest line. And in Skyrim you get Lucian Lachance, which is from the same thing, I guess, kind of. He's the one who tells you to kill him. Well, it's just interesting, I guess, that way. Okay. Your cut. 
kind are finished. I spent probably, I'm guessing, 10 minutes doing this and it's starting to get so annoying. You all have no idea. I Maybe, me see there's certain set settings you have to, to choose once you uh, download the mod and install it. Can I not use 9 to... Okay, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's do this at 7. So that I can do it quicker. Do I have any better potions that would... Shall I try the paralysis poison? Of course she resisted it. Killed one. Ebony Sanguine Battle Axe. Ho <laughs> ho! You're mine. Now let me quick save. Kill her. You must be gone now. But I do not regret installing uh, that mod. Basically, even though it's very difficult marvelous. fighting them, is there one left? Looks were just marvelous. Because everybody still has their weapons on. Basically, because they have uh, expensive items on a level. Look at like, this. You know? I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where oh, is she? Oh, she's going to be so mad. She wanted to go home, so I took her to her castle. I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? I'm lucky I made it out alive. Right. So they have this woman and an Elder Scroll. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. So, you're just going to give up? When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Where can I find the people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering, fascination with the Dwemer, weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach, convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. She'll help us. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar, big brute of a Nord, hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. 
trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Well, okay then. Oh, he can train us in heavy armor. Well, at least you're smart enough to want to learn more. I'll show you what I can. It costs a lot, because, you know, I used uh, the guy in White Run to improve Keep my... Keep eyes open. Uh, smithing, yeah, why do we... I want to quickly head into the fort, actually. And see if I can find a Dawnguard heavy helmet. Because I really want it. I know that Gunmar, his name is, he sells items later on, so I could just wait. But I really want the helmet. <laughs> I really like how it looks. It's like one of my favorite helmets, I guess. One of them. Really like the Daedric set. Ebony is not bad as well. Like it too. Okay, let's see. I'll turn on my light so that I can actually see. But I doubt that... Okay, this leads up. I do not want to go to the second floor. I just want to quickly look around. This is floating. It shouldn't be doing that. Also, nah, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, this one's not empty. Oh my freaking god. Don't need that. I heard the dog. I think we, you can get the husky follower. Which is cool. I might actually do that. Anyway, yeah. I won't continue looking around. It's just wasting time. Okay, let's see. Journal. A new order. I've told Isran what I learned at a vampire castle. Isran has asked me to find Sorin, Gerard, and Gunmar and bring them to him. First, let's recruit Gunmar since he's the first on the list. He is somewhere over here. So let's go to Broken Limb Camp. Okay, we're here. 10 p.m. Hopefully, nobody will attack me. Because monsters definitely will be roaming. Um, the knights. Okay, nobody attacked me. Great. 7 a.m.? Or is it. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. Let's head. Uh, which way am I supposed to go, actually? This way. Come on, Shadow Mirror. Actually, don't remember if I sold off the junk that Shadow Mirror has. And one of the sacks which aren't visible. Who said that? Oh, probably the ghost. Right? I heard something uh, saying, as does my blade, and I don't know what the hell happened. Okay, we're here, I think, and I see an alchemical ingredient. Creep cluster. Oh yeah, that's the assassin. Can I speak to you actually? No. But I like that he talks, you know? Oh, Kronvan... Kronvanger Cave. <laughs> I was trying to do an accent, I don't know. Matthew Bellamont and the great treachery of Jaden Hall. Kill a boy's mother and vengeance festers in the sun. Oh, he was talking about... That's from the storyline story of the Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion. Let me light up your face, you Mr. Gunma. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isran needs oh, your help. Isran needing someone else's help. Of the Dark Dark I did that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. I do have a Besides, question. He can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. 
What could he possibly need my help with? Is the voice actor voicing Lucian? The chance, the ghost? Now, you the same one from Oblivion? I, I think he is. The powers of the void. We're up against vampires. Vampires? That... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the Eight. Alright, look. I'll you consider it. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay, Gunmar. Shouldn't be too hard. Probably won't be as hard as killing a vampire. You're walking awfully slowly. What the hell was this? A skewer, probably. Who's that? Spiders. Oh. So not just. Oh wait. How the hell did that one spider resist? Oh, I will go in there later. Um. Watch yourself. This bear is vicious. Well, I mean. I remember from my youth and the glistening crimson on the fields of war. Oh, this will be it. great. Because, you know, I would love to enchant items and... Uh, first of all, enchant them with the smithing thing, because I unlocked it, and uh, carry weight increase thing as well. I think I might have unlocked the muffle enchantment. But I do need good soul gems, full soul gems. Honestly, the perfect choice would be a filled black soul gem, which I have a, an empty black soul gem. But... Uh, I can only enchant one thing with it, you know what I mean? So... I might have to somehow acquire more. Don't know how. Because I know I can find them, find them, obviously, but they're kind of hard to come by. So I'm assuming there's a place to buy them, maybe? <laughs> I have a, a lot of empty petty soul gems, so this will be great. A bear! Boost! Okay. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself without my friends. You helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he said to meet him at Fort Dongard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well... I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Have you heard the tale of Matthew Bellamont and the great... What's in here? A septum se spell tome for us? Sure. Oh, I do have some spell tomes, which I should learn. Bound battle axe and print flame atronach. So, I'm going to favorite uh, the atronach one. I think I can do it. We'll find out. Let's Cute see. Boy's mother. Sorry, Spectral Assassin. I know you'll disappear. Yeah, I can do it. Great. 
So basically, I want to increase my conjuration. And I know that the bound battle axe one will most definitely help out with. What the hell are you doing, Roshan? Uh, the bound battle axe will most definitely help out. Uh, so yeah. I think that would be just great. Another thing to improve. But oh, a chest. Plus I'll level up faster that way, which is also very, very great. I'm thinking that since I'm... What level is my one-handed at, actually? It's at level 88, so... I feel like after I reach a level 100, I should... Um, start using two-handed weapons, maybe, and improve that skill. Tree, because, you know, again... More points, I will level up. I will level up faster. So, yeah. That's my plan, kind of. I should go to that uh, secret door and clear out this. I believe there's a vampire lair over there, so... Let's find out. Quick save as well. Yeah, so... I don't believe I can capture their souls. Let me do this. Because I know I'll need it. Can't use stone flesh because I don't have enough magic. Huh? Okay, everybody, let's check this. Oh, yeah, vampires are definitely over here. Quick save again, so. Never should have come here. Okay, everybody, attack. Yeah, vampire does a. Vampire. <laughs> Fire does a lot of damage to them. So the flame match and act will be very useful. So I got pretty good loot from it. From this place. No, I don't remember if there's a way deeper. Oh look, an enchanting table. Nothing. I still want to keep the ring of wielding on because it helps out a lot. With the damage that I do. With my one-handed weapon while I'm using it. Once Again, once I reach uh, level 100, I will start using a two-handed weapon. And then I can disenchant that ring. And most likely I will be able to be make a more powerful one. So, yeah. Anywho, let's head out of this cave and go find Sorin Gerard, he said. Or am I mixing up people again? I sometimes do that. Yes. I kind of thought that she might be part of the Mages Guild. <laughs> Although she still might be. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Recruit Sorin Gerard. She is somewhere. Let's go to Dark Fall Cave then.
Okay, Lucian, hope you, hopefully you'll hop on your horse. Because you were just standing there, my good man. Oh, I forgot to improve Lucian's armor. I can do that. Uh, I'll have to do that after, after this episode. Completely strip him naked and then take his armor or whatever. Now, I know you could speak with her, but enemies. Oh no, fly away. I want to wait. Let's see, this would be 4 a.m. Let's wait till 6 a.m. I want it to hopefully not rain because. First of all, it kind of lags a little bit, at least when I play. Sometimes it doesn't show that during uh, the recorded gameplay. But I would prefer it. Oh my god. It's very misty. Anyway, um, hello, miss. You don't know me? You haven't seen I know you, kind of. Dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran asked me to find Isran. you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? <sighs> I could actually persuade her, but I know where the sack is, so I'll help her. I don't have any gyros oh, on then me. I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. Isran and I still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Until next time. Okay, so the gyros are in a sack somewhere over here, I believe. She said she needs one, so I'll take one because I... Don't really need them. What would mud crabs want with my satchel anyway? He's run and I still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Here, I've got a dwarven gyro. Take it. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? We're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Good day. That's empty. Dwarven arrow? I don't know what the hell she's doing. Anyway, let's head back to Isran. Enemies. I'm assuming mud, mud crabs. Oh, 
Well, now I can fast travel. Oh, it updated. I found the people Isran said we'd need to fight Harkon and his vampires. Now I should return to Isran and help him formulate a, a plan of attack. Let's do that. I know it auto saved, but I quick save on top. Because I'm afraid. <laughs> So I've mentioned in one of the episodes that I'm modding Fallout 3 and my god is it more difficult than Oblivion for instance because I mean Oblivion is older than Fallout 3 obviously but still definitely easier to mod than that game. I've had so many problems I... Uh, how should I put it? I had to reinstall Fallout 3 three times. <laughs> Because basically the first time it worked normally at first, then it started not saving and just not loading and during the beginning of the game it would crash, so that wasn't good. Tried it for a second time, watched the YouTube video on how to prepare the game for modding. Everything went great, visually looked nice almost, because I didn't still have the mods that I wanted to, but couldn't save, the save files would, would not work. So now I'm doing it for the third time, and it, so far it works nicely. So I'm happy about that. I don't know when I will finish modding it though, but it might be a let's play in the future, so yeah. Look out for that, I guess, sometime. Don't know when, definitely don't know when, because I have to finish Dishonored and The Witcher. Bloop. Or should I not use that weight? Alright, Ixran. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Okay. Completed a new order. Start at Prophet. Follow Isran. Where the hell is he though? I always forget how to climb up to the second floor. Because sometimes you climb up and there's just a door that leads outside or something like that, no? Okay, I'm going the right way. Hey. The Dungard Warhammer? It's a Warhammer, right? Looks pretty cool and very uh, painful. Oh, a torture! This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. What are you doing here, Saran? Probably weren't expecting to see me again. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. What about the... Should I ask about her first? I'll be nicer towards her, I guess. And not the item. What about you? The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. 
What sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. <laughs> the part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. What's all this have to do with the Dawn Guard? I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? No, you're right. We just have to convince the others you're on our side. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Well, Isran, you heard it. Alright, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? I mean, did you not hear us talking? We were literally standing right near you. Set your hatred aside and try to see the larger picture is around. Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You don't trust her? Fine. Trust me, I believe her. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now, but if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Who can? Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I like how I have no option, but I like it, you know? Okay, let's see. I'm right behind you. I believe you like using daggers, so we might have to get a more powerful one for you, right, Lucian? Okay, so first of all, let's go down, find... Oh, let's loot this. One septum, okay. Gunmar and Sorin, because I do believe they give us um, side quests, sort of, where we can basically improve the crossbow and some other things. But I do believe Gunmar sells stuff, so I would like to acquire a set of Dawn Guard armor if I can. Let's see. Oh, not me getting instantly lost in here. This is the training area. Dead Drop Falls. Probably some secret escape place. Oh look, Bran. What's wrong? You want to go hunt some vampires? Come on boy, let's go. I really want to. Hopefully he's an essential... Why did I read his name as Schlong in my head? Something is definitely wrong with me. 
<laughs> Where is Gunmar and Surin? Are they not here yet? They might not be well wait a second, they were here. He has armor. Oh here we go. Um let's speak with you first, I guess. Isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. If Isran needs me, it must be pretty bad. I wonder what we're up against here. Can you teach me how to make a crossbow? A basic one, of course. That is, assuming you know anything about steelsmithing. It's pretty simple. Talk to Gunmar if you need materials. What can I do to help? I want to add some punch to our crossbow capabilities. I've done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. I take them apart, poke around in their guts, and try to figure things out. With mixed results. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. So, if you'd be a deer and collect those plans for me? Here's everything I have. Sorry, there isn't. Well, let's see what she has. Steel bolts, robes, few potions, spell to sunfire. Oh, I'll buy it. A lot of soul gems. I mean, they're definitely the useful, but. Oh, Sarana, what are you doing? But. They're very expensive. My god, really? Now I have two spells. Well, I guess I could teach Lucian it. Maybe. If you're putting yourself in harm's way, you'd best be prepared. Take these. Oh, he gave me heavy armor for free. Oh, we could buy an armored troll. What can I do to help? Okay, the don't of a vampire, <laughs> I don't really want uh, a troll right now, but that's cool. Tread lightly. The law is unaware of the danger. He will treat you as a criminal if you are caught. Can't we inform the Jarl's men of the threat? Alas, the vampire can cloud the minds of those he preys upon. It won't be easy to convince anyone he's other than he appears. The law will require proof that we can't present. And the Jarls disapprove of bloodshed they haven't called for themselves. Best not to damage our reputation. Let your actions be as discreet as possible. Understood. The light be with you. Cozy little place, isn't this? I want to see if he has anything for sale. Eastron had a surprising stockpile of weapons and armor. Take a look. Okay. Orcish stuff. He has some pretty great stuff, actually. Don't see any downguard weapons, which is kind of strange. This I kind of like. So he already gave me a set of heavy armor. Did he give me a... Helmet, though, I do believe he did. Take care. Let's see. Now I need to. Let's see. I have the heavy cuirass. Yourself. Yeah, I need to buy this is fine for now, but we can't gloves, boots, and a helmet. Keep yourself armed and protected as best you can. Heavy boots, heavy gauntlets, heavy helmet. Take Great. So, I shall end this episode right here. Then I'm over encumbered. I know I'll give something to Lucian soon. 
Um, I shall end this episode right here then. I do hope you enjoyed it. We shall help out Gunmar and uh, Serene in the next one. And we shall also find the Moth Priest then. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Follow me on my social media down below. And I shall see you next time. I hope you have a very great day. Goodbye.